hello everybody, Stephanie here, aka Wolfpack. I hope everybody is having a great day. I hope you have all enjoyed so far of our wonderful, all of our creators out there. Um, I will be working on a Garfield's Christmas. As you can see, I haven't even started yet, so we will be seeing it firsthand of me working on my first square. Hopefully we'll see how far along I am after you guys are watching this video, since I have to record this video. Um, so yes, uh, other than that, um, today, I didn't know what to do because we have to record for about an hour. Um, so I figured, you know what? I don't have any kids. I do have pets. I have two cats. Well, I got one cat, Eli, most of you know. And then right now I have a foster and that's it. I li live a pretty boring life. So I didn't know what to do for an hour long. So I kind of Googled. And then I'm like, you know what? There's got to be some tag questions. Well, here, a Christmas tag popped up. Popped, oh, popped up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> popped up. <laughs> um, and I'm like, yeah, I could do a Christmas tag. Uh, so, yes, so I'll be answering some questions since usually I don't do a lot of tag questions. So I figured, what the heck? Might as well just start from there. Um, so, yeah. I That's about it. So let's get started. Um, well, first I'll get ready and then I'll start my, with my questions. Um, all right. Because as we all know, this kind of takes a little bit. I did have the sections already ready to go, so that's... Because I didn't want to take time to do that. All right. And I do have my pen ready to go as well. But yes, I hope everybody had a great Christmas. I hope everybody stays safe and warm as we are in our in our country in the winter anyway. I know some parts of the world, they are having their spring, summer. Yeah, which sounds really weird, especially around Christmas time. Uh, let's see here. I think I'm going to do the bottom. So we'll do eight. And this is a square, so I'm super excited to be working on a square. I love working on squares. screen to start with. Do I have my spoon? Yes, I do. So I don't have to keep digging. There we go. Got my spoon. Um, I ordered some Firefly. Um, so this is the first time I am using their kit. So Kind of excited to use it, actually. All right, so let's get into the first question. All right, number one. As a kid, did a sibling ever receive a present that you wished was for you? Oh, geez, Louise. Since I only have the brother, the one brother, um, and we were, or I should say we are, almost nine years apart, not really. <laughs> um, and plus, he's a brother, not a sister. So I, oh, you guys aren't even in the frame. Oh, hello, Glare. Um, maybe go this way. The Claire not so bad. Yeah, the Claire's not too bad there. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I can't, the only thing I have ever been jealous of my brother was when I went, this is not related to Christmas, but I'm just answering the question as much as I can. The only time I was ever jealous of my brother was when I went to college, um, and some of you have heard this story, but anyway, when I went to college, my parents got a dog. Now, most of you are probably wondering, why does that matter? Because my whole life growing up, my father didn't like dogs and my mother didn't like cats. So let's just say growing up in my household, we did not have cats or dogs. Um, we had fish. And let's just say I finally put my foot down. I did not want fish. I do not like fish anymore. Um, so yeah, nope, I'm, I'm, I'm good. 
<laughs> they kept dying on me anyway. So I said, eh, that's all right. Um, anyway, so yes, growing up, we did not have cats and dogs. And as soon as I moved to college, get, guess what they get for the bro? A dog. Because he was missing me. So yes, my parents got a dog. And she was the cutest little thing in the world. You can imagine a golden retriever, but a mini version of her. Yes, she looked exactly like a golden retriever, but she was mini size. Oh my gosh. She was adorable. But other besides that, no, I have, I've never, my brother has never received any gifts that I wish I got. So I guess that is a good thing. Stay down. There we go. Uh, number two, be honest. Do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts better? I like giving gifts. I, I really do. Um, as long as the person gives me options to purchase them gifts, then I have fun with it. Um, For a while there, when gift cards was, you know, pretty popular. Well, I mean, they're still pretty popular. Um, all right, we are done with that color. But anyway, I, I loved getting gift certificates. Because then if there was something that I wanted that I know I couldn't afford, and there was a gift card, at least then that would kind of help purchase whatever I want. You know, that was kind of expensive. That, for me, I couldn't justify pain. I don't know. But now now I kind of like receiving. I really like the whole gifts. Well, who doesn't like giving gifts? But I just like the thought of it. Uh, seven. So, yes, I, I like both. I mean, let's be honest. Who doesn't like getting gifts as well? I like being surprised, trying to figure out what the gift is. Oh, there it is. So, yeah. I do like that these walls are thick. And they're high. There we go. I do really like that. Okay. Yeah, next question. Do you make New Year's resolutions, and do you stick to them? Um, no, I don't, because I am horrible when it comes to that stuff. I always like to think I can do it, and then, then I set up myself to be fail. So, no, I do not do New Year's resolutions anymore. I mean, shoot, I can't even go three months I think three months is my longest of a no buy so yes so I like to think that this year's new resolution I can say I'm on a no buy but I know myself as well as anything that why is this off so much Hang on, I gotta fix. Anyway, um, yeah, otherwise I'd be like, yep, my New Year's resolution is no buy. But 
later down the road something will pop up and I have to have it. <laughs> As we all know that how that's how it goes. Um maybe when I was younger, I think I did better. Am I done? Oh yeah. I think I did do it like in high school and I did really well, of course. Cuz usually it was like easy stuff. Like not having pop or I don't know, something silly. Where I know, you know, it'd be something simple. I don't know. How about you all? Does anybody else do New Year's resolution? New Year's resolution anymore? Uh, let's see here. Do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? Yes, we do open our Christmas gifts on Christmas Eve. And then um, Christmas Day is from Santa and then our stockings. Um, and sometimes if like when we go um, like the night before, like before Christmas Eve, depends on when Christmas falls, you know, the day falls on. Um Sometimes, like, if we go look at Christmas lights or whatever, um, sometimes we get to open at least one. When we were younger, we kind of begged and pleaded mom and dad to let us open up one gift. Oh, come on. This putty is really great. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Hang on. I'll be right back. All right. Sorry about that. Now I don't remember what we were talking about. <laughs> oh, gotta love phone calls. All right. So we are going to go on to the next question. Do you visit a poor people's place on Christmas Day? Uh, no. You know what? We've never done that. Um, Christmas Day, no. Unfor we, no, we don't. Um, we always go to church. Um, a long time ago, we always did, like, the meals, because usually our church always did, like, a meal. And then um, mom and I would, you know, help, you know, wherever we needed help. And then my brother and dad would kind of do like the Meals on Wheels. Um, people would sign up for that service from that church so they can have a warm meal, you know, on Thanksgiving and Christmas. And so that's, I, I guess that's what we did. Um, but no, we've never... And I don't know why, but no, we we don't do that. Like a soup, is it a soup kitchen or I guess I don't know. I'm pretty sure Fargo's got one, but growing up, I guess I don't even know if Fargo even had one. I'm sure they did, um, but I don't think it was, you know, quite advertised maybe. I don't know. So... I'm going to say, I, I really don't know. All right, I got on alignment again. There we go. New pen, new wax. <laughs> I'm being picky as usual. There we go. Nope. I mean, I know we have homeless shelters in town, um, but I. I don't know where they are. I don't know any of that. Have you ever made a snowman? Well, since I live in North Dakota and we always have snow. <laughs> yes, 
I have built a snowman. I haven't done it in years just because I'm not a big fan of the cold. <laughs> um, but yes, I did when I was younger. Absolutely. I mean, one year we had so much snow um, that we built like not an igloo, but basically almost like an igloo, an igloo in our snowbank in our backyard. Like we would dig a tunnel and like, oh my gosh, yeah. We would dig a tunnel and then we would open up this big spot. Yep, we do. I've done that. So yeah, I yes, of course I have. <laughs> oh. How many gifts that you received on Christmas? Well, I've never counted. It, that doesn't matter to me how many. I've never counted how many presents I've received. Ever. Even when I was little. I was just thankful to have Christmas presents. Um, any presents. You know what I mean? I, I, no, I've never counted it. Um, so, yeah. And, of course, some years were better than other years. Okay, we are upside down, so that is an L. Okay. <laughs> I got this symbol, and then I got an L, and then I am working upside down. So I'm just making sure that I'm going to grab the right, right color. All right, okay, so we got quite a few of the... So we're going to grab the big one. Yes, I got two different sizes. I got the mini, which is super duper cute. And then I got the normal size, I guess you could call it. Oh, for heaven's sake. Why is it when I finally decide to make a video, that's when everybody decides, hey, let's call me. <laughs> it dies. All right, sorry about that. All right, hopefully that is the end of the phone calls. <laughs> oh my gosh, when it rains, it pours, right? So yes, if you are new to my channel, hello. Yes, I do live in North Dakota. I have lived in North Dakota all my life, except for one year when I went to college in Minnesota. <laughs> Uh, so I didn't go very far. <laughs> Evidently, I like this area. There are some days I really do not like the snow. But, uh, yeah, it's where I'm at. So I can't get too mad about that, right? Seven. So, yes. Oop. I counted wrong. Or maybe I did not. Hmm. Okay. Next question. Uh, how how you decorate your house on Christmas Day? Well, I don't decorate my house on Christmas Day. Um, we usually decorate, you know, December. <laughs> Technically, after like Thanksgiving Day, um, like the day after is when we usually decorate uh, but since I have a condo I'm in a condo and I have Eli nowadays I don't decorate at all and the only reason why one is Eli two is because I'm not home during Christmas I know it's kind of a lame, lame excuse um, but I always go to mom and dad's house for Christmas and since I'm not here or, I mean, I am here. But since we don't celebrate Christmas here, I just don't decorate then. I did for a couple years when I lived here. When I first moved here. Um, I had the Christmas tree up and everything. And I don't know. It's just a lot of work. And I'm by myself. I don't have any kids, like I said. So I, I just, I don't know. 
So no, at this moment in time, I don't decorate. I used to. At mom and mom decorate. I mean, of course, mom decorates. So yes, um, she's had the same decorations for eons. So and she adds new things every once in a while. There we go. Okay. Is your Christmas tree real or fake? It is fake. Um, we, I have never had a real Christmas tree. Ever. We've always had a fake Christmas tree. I do not know why. We just always have. It's always been artificial. And um, so, yeah. When I was married, I told my husband, I said, you know, just once, just once I would like to have a real Christmas tree. And uh, we just, we never did. I don't know why we never did. We just never did. Oh, come on, get off. Thank you. So, yes, still to this day, no, I've never had a real Christmas tree. I'm going to be done with these questions quick. <laughs> um, most memorable holiday or mint? Holiday or moment. Oh, moment. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Now, some of you are going to be, this might be sound a little weird. So, back in the late 90s, When computers were a big thing and they were expensive. I mean, I'm talking the big monitor that was huge. It came with like four books stacked of how to install all your programs and everything else like that. Because back then, mm -mm, you had to install everything. Anyway, um, my dad asked us. One year, it was it was probably in the fall, Christmas, or, you know, at the beginning of the school season. And he asked us what, you know, what we would like to do. He's like, I can buy each of you presents, or we can buy the family a computer. And I'm like, a computer would have been amazing. A computer would be awesome. So we all voted to have computers. So that was our Christmas present was a computer. And um, it came in like six boxes. Well, I don't I don't remember that part, I guess, but it was a lot. Um, so anyway, so yes, I, I know it took dad a while to hook it all up, get it roll ready. So, yes, that for one year, that was our Christmas present, was a computer. And I will always remember that. Because now I appreciate it so much how much my parents asked us what, you know, like a big purchase like that for something memorable that we will always use. You know what I mean? It was, I don't know. I thought it was nice that my dad did that, you know, gave us an option if we wanted presents or if we want one big present and still to this day my parents will do that like even this year we're gonna we're not gonna get a lot of presents because my parents are we're gonna go down to florida again this spring and so that is going to be our christmas present um so and they asked once again would you like to go to florida for well not, not for christmas but you know for your christmas gifts or you know and I said, absolutely. So, yes. So, that's just how my parents are. And I love them for it. But anyway. 
So, yes, I, and I know it probably sounds a little crazy. That would be my memorable Christmas ever, but it just is because I remember looking at the Christmas tree and there was a whole bunch, you know, these big monstrous boxes under the tree. And I'm like, wait a minute. I thought we were going to get a computer. And Dad's like, we are, honey. He's like, just open up the gifts. You'll see what is what. And sure enough, yeah, one box was a monitor. One box was the books to install everything. The floppy disks, because yes, back in those days, it was floppy disks. Some of you young tykes might not even know what a floppy disk is. But yes. Um, but other than that, I'm just trying to think of other memorable Christmas presents. That's the, I mean, isn't that weird? That's the only one that I, like, visually remember. <laughs> I mean, I've always had really great Christmases. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah. It's just, I will always remember that very fondly. Uh... Tell me about a person who makes your Christmas Day very special. Well, when I was younger, it was my grandmother. Um, and visiting the relatives and visiting and seeing all my cousins and aunts and uncles um, when we would go to, to grandma's house. I mean, that was always special. I mean, either it was Christmas or Thanksgiving. You know, we would always divide it up. Um, cause you know, we would always split it up. So like one year for Thanksgiving, we would go to my, my dad's sister's house. And then for Christmas that same year, then we would go to my mom's, you know, mom's house. So my grandmother's house and it would rotate. That's how we just did it in our household. So, um, but yeah, I, I, I now, as my grandmother has passed, I mean, she's been gone for a while. That is still probably the one thing I miss is going to Minneapolis for Christmas and seeing all my family members and my cousins and my little cousins. Well, now that now they're not little, they have their own families. But, you know, I just miss having that. And I know most of the family does get together still. Um, but we just... I, I don't know why we don't go anymore, but we just don't. And I think, I know partially is Scotty's, my brother, his, um, his anxiety goes through the roof with that many people. Even though it's family, it's still people. I don't know. He finally did explain it to me. But, um, so anyway, just one year I would like to go down down there for Christmas and just have it like the old days. <laughs> I mean, not old days, but you guys all know what I mean. But yes, uh, that will always be a very good memory. Holy crap, what was that? Oop. Whoever, dro whoever dropped something in the condo building, holy crap, I hope they're all right. Because that was loud. Tell me which celebrations you like the most that are the birthday celebration or the Christmas celebration. Um, I say Christmas. Birthday, I don't know. Maybe it's because now I've gotten older. I mean, birthday is a birthday. <laughs> it's just, you're just one more year older. Um, we don't do a lot for birthdays. Um, we just basically go out to eat. And then my mom will make whatever our favorite dessert is. And that is our, you know, our birthday. But I don't know. I just, it's just another fact of getting a year young or a year older, a year younger. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Oh, yeah, by the way, you're not turning this. You're one year younger. Okay, perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Hmm. 
Use one noise to describe how excited you are for Christmas. Um, I, <laughs> I don't really have a noise because I'm not really excited for Christmas. Uh, I mean, it's, I'm excited to see mom and dad and the bro brother, but I, I, I don't know. I guess I don't know. I don't have kids, so for me, it's, it's not a big deal. I mean, granted, I have my nieces and stuff like that, but I don't even know if I'll get to see them this year for Christmas, which kind of sucks. But, I mean, I'll buy them gifts, and then the next time I see them, you know, of course I will give it to them. But I get more excited when the girls open their gifts. I mean, see, that's where I get the most excited is when people open up my gifts. And their happiness and their smiling on their faces and all that good stuff. That's that's just who I am. I I I don't I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I said earlier, I like getting presents. I mean, who let's be honest, who doesn't like getting presents? But I I like seeing watching the faces and all that good stuff. Seriously. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I'm not doing anything wrong. I don't know. <laughs> Get the hang of it. Maybe I'm pressing too hard? I don't know. This whole new putty thing. I'm learning. All right, next question. What are you most surprising? What? What are you most surprising moment on Christmas? They spelled Christmas wrong. <laughs> oh my gosh, they spelled Christmas on the last one too. The next question wrong too. Oh my lord. <laughs> what are what it what? I'm assuming they mean what it was your surprising no. What was the most surprising moment at Christmas? What is your most surprising moment on Christmas? Maybe that's the way they were supposed to word it. Surprised moment at Christmas. Uh, I'm trying to think of the gifts I've gotten that I was most surprised to get. I, I don't know. That's a really good question. Um... Hmm. Well, I have received like weird gifts from my parents <laughs> um, that I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> like last year, my parents bought me a really bright light for my garage. And the reason why they bought it for me was because dad says my garage isn't, you know, not very bright. And he bought one for his garage and absolutely flipping lootly loves it. And so he bought me one for my Christmas. And I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> I was, I, I, it's still here. Dad hasn't even installed it yet because <laughs> I don't go on ladders. Because I'm a little afraid of heights. So, <laughs> so I told that. I'm like, okay, that's fine. But you're going to install it because your daughter doesn't do heights. And he's like, yeah, I know. So the last time he was here over Thanksgiving, he's been having some shoulders and wrists. And, oh, my gosh, my poor dad. So I didn't ask him the last time he was over. But 
Um, so that one was a surprise, I guess, because I didn't know what it was. And so, you know, the thing that you always say is, thank you. <laughs> but what the crap? And so anyway, yes. So I guess that is probably my most surprising present that I remember receiving is a gift that I didn't know what the crap it was. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I just thought it was hilarious. I'm like, mm, thank you, <laughs> but no thank you. <laughs> oh, some days. And probably maybe when I was younger, like maybe a Barbie that I didn't think I was going to get or I don't know. Okay. Uh, we need that color. Oh, I just had this color out. Shoot. No, not this color, but. Okay. So that's closed. Okay. Next question. What do you like to do on Christmas break? Uh, hang out with the folks and the brother. And um, what we usually do, like, well, like I said, it depends on when Christmas falls. Oh, there we go. That's a little bit better. Um, like, depends on how much time I have vacation off. Does that make sense? I don't know. I forgot what I said. Um, so, like... We usually, you know, of course, go to Christmas or um, church, and then we'll open up gifts, and then I just basically, you know, just kind of just hang out, relax, watch TV. Um, usually, we play board games or card games. It all depends on what we want to do, and then we dig out. Um, we love now. If you are we. We fans, because this family is, we love the Wii. Um, it's Mario Party. And it's like a board game, but of course with, you know, Mario Parties with the Mario Clam. And oh my gosh, we have so much fun. And then um, we usually play one or two rounds of that. And then we play... Um, not Clue, because Clue is weird on the Wii. On the Wii. Um, oh, crap. What is it called? Oh, Life. The board game Life. That's on the Wii, and that's fun. And so, yeah. And then just, you know, hang out, relax, eat cookies. Because this weekend is when, well, I mean, now it's already passed. We've already made Christmas. But um, this weekend, we're, do we're making all of our Christmas cookies, and I'm so excited. Will you fall off? Yes, I yell at my drills. <laughs> oh. But like I said, we um no offense, but we're a pretty boring family. <laughs> and I will take that any day. I don't know, I might bring a diamond painting because mom just finished her big diamond painting the other day. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I'm so proud of her. She finished it. So, yeah. So, I don't know. She hasn't told me if she wants another one or not. Because that one was a pretty big one. So, and was it? No, it was a round. So, at least it wasn't too bad. Her first one was a scare, square, just like mine was. <laughs> So anyway, I might bring a diamond painting or cross stitch. Uh, let's see here. What holiday traditions are you looking forward to most this year? Holiday traditions. So we used to go down. Um, there's a park in Fargo. It's a pretty big park. Sorry, I, some of the 
plastic. I'm just, it's coming off the glue. Wait, are you guys still okay? Are we still okay? I think so. Is that better? Okay. I don't know if that's better or not, but. <clears throat> um. Uh, anyway, so a lot of the businesses in town, like, they'll decorate their own little, I don't know, little thing for businesses in town to make aware of the business and blah, 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 blah. And it's the fee is free, except for you just need to donate something for the food pantry. And so, of course, we always bring, you know, whatever we want to bring. Um, we used to do that every year. Um, but the last time we did it a couple years ago, uh, Scott ruined it. <laughs> um, so he basically traumatized us. So I don't know if we'll ever do that again. If we do, he won't be coming with. I'm not going to go into detail because that's not fair to him. Um, but yeah, uh, let's just say I, I don't know if I can go back. And it's not the park's fault or anything like that but um it was it was not good which really sucks um but other than that i mean looking going to neighborhoods and seeing all the christmas lights i guess that would be a tradition and playing mario party that's always a fun tradition hey that worked Sweet. Okay. I hope the glare isn't making you guys buggy. I'm sorry. What is the best gift you ever received? Well, did we already say that question? Um, you know what I'm going to say this year because we're going to Florida again <laughs> and we're going someplace new so it's even better so I'm going to say it this year I mean granted I already know what it is but still I'm I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to flying. I miss flying. And granted, I flew. I know I only flew once this year, but that was to Ireland, so that was huge. So yeah, I'm I'm inching to fly again. If I could fly once a year, I would be one happy person. And I don't know why I love to fly. I just do. I always enjoyed flying, and yes, I do not like, I'm scared of heights, but I enjoy flying. As long as there's no turbulence, then we're, then we're good. Depends on the turbulence, but yes, I don't mind it. Um... What is the worst present you've ever received? <laughs> that was last year. <laughs> the Christmas light. <laughs> no, not the Christmas light. The light for the garage. <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I am going to say that was probably my worst Christmas gift I've ever received. And that is probably so mean of me, but I don't care. <laughs> Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, just because you like that gift? <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's fine. It is. It really is fine. Oh, it just makes me chuckle. But yeah, I, I'm going to have to say that. 
that light. <laughs> oh. But other than that, I haven't really received any gifts that I've, you know, not used, not liked. You know, I don't know. This thing is really sturdy. I will say that. One, two, three, four, five. Hopefully nobody was counting then. If you dare, I'm sorry. Really? All right, next question. What is your all-time favorite holiday food sweet treat? Ooh, okay, sweet treat. Christmas, Chris Cookies. As far as the Christmas cookies go, sugar cookies. We have a really good sugar cookie recipe, and oh my god, it's amazing. I love our sugar cookies. Um, so those are my favorite. I can't wait until we make them this weekend. Oh. I'm half tempted to make like two batches because so yummy. Anyway. Uh, for the cookie, yep, that would be the sugar cookie. Um, holiday dinner-wise, so for our dinners, we always change it up because, you know, you know, of course, you have turkey for Thanksgiving. And usually, most people will have ham for Easter. Well, since my father doesn't enjoy the ham, uh, we kind of come up with other things to have. So usually it's like a pot roast or, you know, something very yummy as well. Wax came right off. Uh -oh. I don't know how that happened. Is it still sticky? Yeah, it's still sticky. Okay. Sorry, just fixing my wax. Uh, so yeah, I I I really do like having roast. I love roast. So I I don't know what we're having for Christmas this year. Like I said, it changes a lot. Sometimes we have lasagna. All depends on what we're craving. Oh, shoot. That's where the wax is. Oh, okay, good. Okay, next question. What is your favorite Christmas film? Ooh. Oh, that's going to be a hard one. Uh, I'm going to go with a good old-fashioned movie, The Christmas Lampoons, or, you know, Lampoons Christmas with Chevy Chase. That one will always be my favorite. It's an oldie but goodie. Um, of course, a Christmas story. Oh, no. What it, a Christmas story, right? Yeah. I haven't seen the new one yet, actually. kind of forgot about it. So anyway, Christmas story... Elf, of course, is always good. There are so many. But yeah, I would, I'm going to have to say those right off the top of my head. And of course, The Grinch with Jim Carrey, because, oh my gosh, that's so funny. Mm, 
What is your favorite song? Oh, boy. Okay. So my favorite song of all time is What Child Is This? I, I don't know what it is about that song, but I absolutely love it. Um, but a couple years ago, Pentatonix came out with a song called Mary Did You Know? And, oh, my gosh, that one... I've never heard that song. I don't know why I've never heard that song. If I did, I don't remember it. But however they do it, oh my lord. It is so good. I absolutely love it. So yes, that one is my all-time second favorite. Besides Hallelujah, I mean, I love I love all Christmas songs. There we go. What is your favorite thing about Christmas? Um, just getting together with a family. I mean, most of the time, I mean, we still get, I mean, my parents and I and the bro, I mean, we usually get together. You know, I try and get to Fargo about every other weekend. But, of course, with it being winter... I think I'm just going to back you guys up just a smidge. I don't know if you guys are just too close. I don't know. Anyway, I'm being fussy. Um, so with winter, you know, you just never know when you're able to go. And granted, where I am, it's only 60 miles. But sometimes that 60 miles can seem a real long fire away. And so um, I don't take any chances. So, yes, I've become a chicken poop when it comes to the roads. And so if the roads are not good, I don't go anywhere. And plus it helps that my car stinks on ice. I have the wrong set of tires for my car. Um, but since I am leasing on my car, I am not putting new tires on my car. And I will be getting a different car next year. So. Anyway, <laughs> okay, switching colors. I am really liking these trays. I can see why people love these trays. Oh, excuse me. But I should ask you all, since we're in chat together, what is your favorite Christmas movie? I'm pretty sure, I mean, I know there's a lot that I haven't said, but I'm just going to put that out there. What's your favorite Christmas music? <laughs> movie. <laughs> I think. Okay, I know, I keep moving, and I'm sorry. So better. There we go. Well, now you get my cup. <laughs> uh, which, how many times is she going to move this thing in a row, right? Sorry. I'll stop messing with it. Getting together with family? Yeah. What makes the holiday special for you? Well, isn't that the same thing? Just visiting with family and friends. What would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season? My dream place? My dream place for the holiday? Um, well, as long as the family can come with. Where would we go? Oh, Florida. <laughs> um... You know, that is a very good question. Um, I 
for the holiday season. I am doing the star, right? Yes, star. Okay. Uh, don't you hate when you second guess yourself of what color you're doing? Oh, my Lord. Well, hi, single, please. Oh, cool. Anywhere. Um... You know what? I don't know. I mean, it would. I would love to be somewhere warm, and I don't know. I'll just say New Zealand. New Zealand is still on my bucket list. I would love to go. Now, I don't know if the family would want to go to New Zealand. Uh, but I'm, that's where I would love to go. <laughs> I'm so sorry, y'all, for cutting it off like that. But I lost track of time and I went over. <laughs> so, but I just want to thank you all so much for coming and joining me. And this premiere, I hope you all had a blast. If you did, please go ahead and hit that thumbs button down below. And also, please subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more unboxings and when I go live, which is Thursday evenings at 6.30 Central until 8 p.m. Until next time, guys. Bye!